Well, hello there. I wanted to talk about a bookmark that has really helped me, has motivated me. Um, I, I've been in limbo for the past couple months as far as not knowing where I stand with my career, or my job, or my future because of the injuries I um, that happened to me um, on the job that didn't nothing broke but there's a lot of contusion and soft and swelling and soft tissue damage and just chronic pain and not able to lift heavy things like I could before and push heavy things and feeling pain and during the cold and all that and yes I believe God's gonna heal me I do I pray for his healing and if you want to pray for me too please do um, but also uh, and I was diagnosed recently with fibromyalgia uh, and also um, an MRI, based on the MRI, a bulging disc and bone degenerative disease was found. So it has been a very tough, physically tough, challenging year, excuse me. So I wanted to share this though because recently um, I was in a relationship uh, almost for a year and you'll see in a, if you look at the playlist that says the X-Files, You'll see the beginnings of the signs of, of um, dealing with an alcoholic. And the first step, of course, is admitting you have a problem. And he just never saw that he had a problem. And those around him also didn't see that there was a problem. Um, and so I've never dealt with dating an alcoholic. And I just never saw the signs. And when I, was, when I met him, I was going through my own issues of being on medicine for the pain uh, from the injuries and he was taking care of me and nursed me back to health and I literally was able to get out of bed and walk and all of that because of him. He helped me, you know, nursing back to health so I kind of felt like I owed, not owed him, but just was so grateful to him. And um, I still love him and I always will but you cannot have a relationship with an alcoholic because they can't see past that alcohol. And there's just so many symptoms and signs from the, the, the up and down moods, the mood swings, uh, the rageaholic that can happen as out of the blue. Um, so I've been going to something called Al-Anon and before Harvey I was going consistently. I started going consistently. I just started going. And I was given helpful tools and helpful things to use. But, and one of them was this bookmark that I'm going to share with you. But, after Harvey, I just, it wasn't around where I was going because it had been flooded out. So, um, but I still keep this bookmark that has really helped me and use other supplements that was given. So I shared this with someone who has been going to Al-Anon for years and she said she's never seen anything like it. So I wanted to share it with you. This is, and I'm going to um, put a, um, I want to just put an image in here. I'll insert that so you can see both sides of the bookmark. And it's called Just for Today. And what this means and how I've applied this. So the first side, but don't worry, I'm going to put this as an image. Just for today, I will have a program. I may not follow it exactly, but I will have it. I will save myself from two pests, hurry and indecision. Just for today, I will have a quiet half hour all by myself and relax. During this half hour sometime, I will try to get a better perspective of my life. Just for today, I will be unafraid. Especially, I will not be afraid to enjoy what is beautiful and to believe that as I give to the world, so the world will give to me. Here's my prayer for today. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, 
joy. Oh, Divine Master. I like to say, Oh God, O oh Adonai, O oh Elohim, my Creator. Grant that I may not be so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. And you can find this at al-anon.org, and I will put that in the description box. Now here's the second side of the bookmark, just for today. Just for today, I will try to live through this day only, and not tackle all my problems at once. I can do something for 12 hours that would appall me if I felt that I had to keep it up for a lifetime. In other words, I can, I can do this. I can get through these 12 hours. Not asking me to get through doing this task for a lifetime, or these tasks, or this day, but just for the next 12 hours, I can do this. Just for today, I will be happy. And I like to use the verse, the joy of the Lord is my strength. It's from the joy of the Lord that I draw strength from his joy that he brings me. And I don't know, I, I don't think we're supposed to always be happy. We're supposed to have joy though, joy from the Lord. But this assumes to be true what Abraham Lincoln said, that most folks are as happy as they make up their minds to be. Just for today, I will adjust myself to what is and not try to adjust everything to my own desires. I will take my luck, or my blessings, as it comes, and fit myself to it. Just for today, I will try to strengthen my mind. I will study. I will learn something useful. I will not be a mental loafer. I will read something that requires effort, thought, and concentration. Just for today, I will exercise my soul in three ways. One, I will do somebody a good turn and not get found out. Two, if anybody knows of it, it will not count. Three, I will do at least two things I don't want to do, just for exercise. I will not show anyone that my feelings are hurt. They may be hurt. But today, I will not show it. And that I have a hard time wrapping my mind around because we're in the age now, this was written years ago, and we're in the age now where it's okay to share our hurts because maybe it will help someone else. But I do think there should be a balance to that. So I'm trying to wrap my head around that last sentence. And last, just for today, I will be agreeable. I will look as well as I can Dress becomingly, keep my voice low, be courteous, criticize not one bit. I won't find fault with anything, not try to improve or regulate anybody but myself. So I hope this helps you as it has helped me and helped my friends that asked me to share this with them, so I thought I'd share it with you. For those that are struggling with anyone that's addicted to drugs, prescription drugs, alcohol, whatever it is that they are addicted to. Something that makes them out of control, whether it's food, alcohol, prescription drugs, drugs, recreational drugs. Now there could be recreational drugs that, and prescription drugs that are good for medicinal purposes, but when it's over abused or mixed too much with alcohol or something, it becomes too much of a drug, out of control, and it becomes an addiction. So if you or anyone else you know is struggling with that, this is for them, this is for you. I hope that helps. Blessings to you.